Hello traders, FS Specoletti here. Today is Tuesday, June 25th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the dollar yen, I'm definitely still looking at this as an uptrend. Maybe this is a wave five, and if it is a wave five, it definitely could turn into 78 or possibly the 100. I do not see any proof that it's over yet. I do not see a break of structure. I do not see a Fibonacci bounce. I do not see any reason yet to believe that this uptrend is over. Going down to the weekly time frame, we do have a little bit of a double top at the 78%, but that definitely is not enough evidence for me to start saying that this is going down. I would have to see this go down. I would have to see a break of structure to really prove that this wave 5 is complete and that we are back into a downtrend. As of right now, just like we've been doing for months, I think looking for longs is pretty much the only strategy on every single yen pair. Going down to the daily time frame, unless I see you know a double top and a break of structure, so at this 78%, I am definitely, definitely going to continue to look for longs on sort of time frames. Bringing it down to the four hour time frame, we do have a little bit of a, of a reaction at the 78.6. If this does, you know, go back up, you know, we test these highs, then go down, then break structure, that's what's going to tell me we have the end of a trend. And if we do have the end of a trend, it possibly is the end of a wave five. But we do not have this picture right here yet, so I personally would still be looking for longs and an uptrend at the end of pullbacks. If we do get some sort of a three way pullback and another impulsive move up, another entry to go long, then I definitely, definitely am primarily going to continue to look for longs and an uptrend at the end of ABC pullbacks. So taking it right down to the one hour time frame, on the one hour time frame, I would definitely expect this move to be another correction to the uptrend. We may have already had the three waves down at this spike right here. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the low and this is actually another ABC correction and this is potentially just going to keep on making higher highs, higher lows. The trend is up on every single higher time frame, so there's no reason to think on these sort of time frames that we should be doing anything except for looking for longs at the end of every every single pullback we see for the continuation of the bigger higher time frame uptrend. You have to remember especially when it comes to these yen pairs that the trend is your friend and until the higher time frames tell us otherwise we should really be doing absolutely nothing except for looking for longs at the end of every single pullback we see. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups and my daily live Zoom meetings. As always, thank you and happy trading.